today we're doing a holiday look. I'm very excited for this holiday season and I wanted to do something very easy to recreate. As you guys know, that's my jam. Easy looks, things that I can do with a couple minutes and just knock it out of the park. I am hosting Christmas dinner at my house this year, so it's very fun for me to kind of practice ahead of time, which is why I'm doing this video. And I've got a lot of plans for the holidays. Every day leading up to Christmas, we've got something fun planned for our family. And we're just going to have such a good time this holiday season and it's just going to be even better than the previous season and I think for me there is just a lot of goodness this year. I, we've got so many things to be thankful for and I it just I feel really good. I feel really good this holiday season and I'm excited to make this season very magical for my son because he's going to be five this year and it's right around Christmas time, his birthday, and I'm really, really excited to do something very fun. So I will be sharing that on social media so don't forget to follow me there if you're interested. But this look today is very dewy. I'm using a foundation that I've, I can count on so I don't have to worry about it breaking down or doing anything weird and funky on my face when I'm at someone's house or hosting at my house. I'm using some colors in the eyes for a look that's very kind of intriguing and very smoky but easy and it's not like the typical smoky eye with lots of dark black eyeshadow. I'm not using any lashes. I'm really really easy with it. The lip is like my favorite combo. Just dewy skin and I just really like it. A little pop of something fun on the lower lash line that's a little bit kind of classic Christmas. So anyways, I hope that you will enjoy this look and if you want to see how to do this look, then keep watching. I'm going to start with my face and um, I'm going to use two different primers. The first one is the Bare Minerals Combo Control. This is the Milky Face Primer, the Balance one. I bought this when I was um, in Tennessee and I haven't used it in quite some time. Um, so I'm going to use that over my nose because that's where I get the most oil. And then I'm going to take a couple drops of the Ren Clean Skin Perfect Canvas silicone free finish skin finishing serum that can be used on its own after your skincare routine or you can use it um, as a primer for makeup and I've been using this for maybe about a week and um, just trying to explore a new brand so this comes in like a dropper the Ren one so I'm gonna take usually I do one two maybe three drops and kind of do one of these numbers in my hand and just kind of press it into my skin. So it has that kind of classic serum texture where it's not super greasy, it's not very heavy and once you put it in it almost just blends into the skin and it feels quite nice and I do use it under my eyes in this outer corner here because my eyes have been kind of dry. And then I'm just going to take a tiny tiny bit of this Milky Combo Control Primer from Bare Minerals and use that over my nose. Now I'm going to fast forward through some of these parts. If you hear any scratching, that is my rabbit scratching his tunnel because <laughs> he's in here with me today. Uh, so for my holiday makeup, I want to use a foundation that I know works well with my skin. This is not the time for me to be experimenting with new products when I'm hosting an event here at the house or when I'm going to someone else's house. I don't want to constantly be checking my face in the mirror <laughs> or going to the bathroom. So for today's Look, I'm going to use my Clinique even better. This is an SPF of 15. I wear it in the shade number 24 linen, and I always like to apply it with a beauty blender. I recently picked up a new one. This is a must. I'm going to take a little bit of this on the back of my hand and just kind of work it into the skin using the sort of rounded side of the beauty blender. And I'm going to start on my cheek area, which for me is my problem zone, and I'm going to work the product mostly in where I need the coverage and then whatever's left kind of bring it down and blend it towards my hairline. And then I'm just working my sponge and just kind of blending it over the eyelids, under the eye. And at this point, my beauty blender is just barely damp. And I like to do very thin layers. And I did go back with a little bit at a time just to kind of build it up where I wanted it. I like to keep things pretty light and natural. I don't like to put on too much or feel like I'm wearing a lot of product. 
So I like that foundation because it doesn't feel very um, heavy on the skin. It's also oil free and fragrance free. Now for concealer, I'm going to use the Bare Skin Concealer. This is the one that has a serum in it. I use this underneath my eyes and I like to just kind of work from the back of my hand because this is very pigmented and it has a very, very good coverage and sometimes it's a little too much. Believe it or not, it can get a little bit um, heavy looking if you put too much on. So I use the very tip of my beauty blender, kind of work it in the back of my hand and then just start where I need the most coverage, which is right in this sort of region here. I'm not trying to flip you off <laughs> in this sort of region here. So I just go in and apply that right in here. And then whatever's left, just kind of bring it and tap it on this outer corner where I have some redness and then just a little bit over the lid. But it has really good coverage and it makes my under eye area look really good, which is why I like to use it from the back of my hand because the applicator does apply a lot of product. I feel like it applies too much product at once. So for me, it's more of sort of controlling how much I'm using. And a little bit of this goes a long way. So it's very, very pigmented. And I am looking quite pale. That foundation, the Clinique one, is a little bit light um, for me right now, believe it or not, even though we're in winter. <laughs> it is a little light. And then I also like to just use whatever's left since I did um, take too much on my hand and just kind of put it wherever I have a little spot or a blemish. All right, so I've done my brows, and instead of using translucent powder to set my upper eyelid area, I used a little bit of my Glow Skin Press Base. I use a shade called Natural Medium. It is a mineral-based line, this brand, the Glow Skin, so I used a little bit of that, and you can get this through like a, med spa, a medical spa, um, a dermatologist's office that carries this, me this makeup brand, and they, I think they also do skincare, and I just used the Morphe E8 to kind of quickly just stamp it right over my lids because um, sometimes I can get a little creasing especially because this concealer from Bare Minerals is a, a little bit more emollient than others that I've used and I normally just use um, that pressed base itself as concealer and it works just fine but sometimes okay so I've got my coffee right here in hand ready to roll because it's the holidays <laughs> and I want to do my makeup really pretty um, I want to do something kind of bronzy so that's what I think I'm going to do because a lot of people do golds. You can do, you know, reds, cranberries, uh, lots of warm tones. You could do um, typical greens, different shades of green. And those are all very typical things. And I, although they're really pretty and those looks are just beautiful and they are very holiday inspired, I wanted to do a little bit of a bronze on the lid. And if the light changes, it's starting to, the sun is starting to come out. It was very cloudy and gloomy. I thought it was going to start snowing, but... Um, the sun's coming out, so the light's going to change on the camera. I apologize for that. Okay, so. Oh, that coffee's good. That's the French roast from Starbucks. I got it at Costco. Costco, yes. <clears throat> Costco. All right, so I think I'm going to do the look with the Jaclyn Hill palette. I love this. I have talked about this before, and I think it's really good quality. I think what you pay for the product, it's really, really good quality. Um, so, there is some bronzy shades. If you look at the second to last row, there's a few here. This one's a little bit more coppery, and then this one is a little bit more of like a chocolatey bronze. And I may do this, or I may mix both of these together. Alright, so I'm going to start with the lid color, just because I want to keep this look pretty simple and easy. And I'm going to take an eyeshadow brush, and I'm going to go in with those bronzy shades. And I will do a quick little finger swatch. As you can see, this is a little bit more bronze. This has a little bit more of a chocolatey uh, undertone to it and it's really beautiful and very pigmented and it has that sort of metallic feel so I feel like right off the bat we're gonna have some impact so I'm gonna just kind of mix the two back and forth and just kind of create a custom shade with those two and I'm gonna start applying that directly onto let me tap off the excess right onto my lid So it's going to be a little bit bronzy, a little bit smoky, and easy. Because I appreciate how you guys watch my videos, and someone recently left me a comment that they love my videos and my tutorials because they actually can recreate this. And I feel like that is the reason why I have this channel, and I feel like I've been pretty successful if I've been able to get comments from you all who watch and say, 
Lexi, I can actually recreate this and do this at home and I love it. And that's what I love about my channel is that it's easy. Anybody can do this. So back to the eyeshadow look, I'm taking it and I'm patting it all over the lid. As you can see, it is very pigmented and I'm using the very edge of that brush to wedge it right into where my lid meets up to the crease so there isn't a gap between the lid space with the color and whatever we put in the crease. And the light is changing again because I tell you, Colorado weather is crazy. Every five minutes is something different. <laughs> And then I'm going to take a little bit more of the darker kind of chocolatey bronze color and just press that really close to my lash line and make it just a little bit darker. So one is more of like a coppery bronze and then the other is more of a chocolatey kind of bronzy color. So then I'm going to take a fluffy crease brush. This is the Morphe E22. It's a synthetic brush, so it's going to really blend everything out and be nice and soft and it's not going to pull or tug at my lid and what I'm going to do is go around the very edge of that color and just soften it. I'm not touching the lid area because as you do that you will be lifting some of the eyeshadow so just go around the outer part of that and just soften that and as you can see it's super blended. This is like not blended, blended. Hey. So now I'm going to go back with that same eyeshadow brush and go back and forth in, in those two shades and just really intensify this lid space. You could dampen your brush with Max uh, Fix Plus. You could use Evian spray, any setting spray if you really wanted this to be like bam in your face. I personally don't think it's needed and required. You could use your finger. That would be another option to get it more, uh, more intense. But as you can see here, it's no need to be using too many different steps to get it to show up. And then I'm taking a clean brush and going around everything and softening it, uh, making sure that I'm not pulling that bronze and that shimmer up too high. Okay, so then for a little bit of definition in the crease, just to kind of blend a little bit more, I'm going to take a combination of these two shades up at the top. And they're just like really soft, light tan shades. Uh, they do have just a touch of warmth to them. And again, I'm taking a brush, the E25 from Sigma, and going just tapping into each color and then tapping off my brush. And I'm going to apply this right into the crease to create a little bit more of a blended look here. My dog is snoring. I don't know if the camera's pick the mic is picking it up, but she's here at my feet. And she's out like a light. <laughs> Must be nice. <laughs> and then again, just going with that clean brush and blending that out. Um, I personally don't want to do a whole lot just because, again, this is just kind of what I prefer, and it's my preference, um, if you wanted something a little bit more intense, go for it. Add something more rich and matte on the outer V, which I still may do. And by the way, I'm just going back and adding a little bit more. As you blend, sometimes you will lose some intensity. And I'm going to take my EA brush that I used to apply powder onto my lids before the eyeshadow and just kind of flick off any of this dark stuff that may have fallen down. Alright, so I'm going to move on to the lower lash line and this is where you have some freedom if you're going to follow along with this look to do something uh, with some color. You can do a green like I am, you can do any color really that you wanted. You can do some sort of cranberry shades if you wanted to stick with the um, traditional colors. I'm going to go in with a really dark deep uh, green shade and this is also from the Jaclyn Hill palette. It is very pigmented. It's also matte. If you wanted to, you could even use a color like this. You can use something bright and funky to make it look just vibrant if you wanted. Like you can really take this look anywhere you want, any direction. I'm going to start with a flat definer brush and I'm going to load up my brush and I'm going to tap off the excess because this is probably going to create some fallout. 
And I'm going to, as I always do, stamp it and get really close to the root of the lash and a little bit thicker on the outer corner and taper it in as I work towards the inner corner of the eye. And that color is so pigmented. So pretty. And then I'm going to start blending it out with a MAC 219. This is a pencil brush. And I'm going to just lightly blend those edges. I'm not trying to disturb too much of the color. And I'm really trying to keep the color where I applied it because it, it can easily... If you blend with a brush that's really big and fluffy, it can easily drag the color down too far. So use a pencil brush when you're working with darker colors on the lower lash line. I probably was out of focus. I'm getting really close to the root of my lashes with this brush and, and sort of working the color into the root of the lashes without getting the powder in my eye, which can be a little tricky sometimes. So I'm going to add more and blend, add and blend as I go. Of course, until I get it just right. All right, so I have blended out some of this green. My camera decided to not record. It's been doing that lately. I don't know what's going on with my computer. It's been acting very strange. But what I did was I took a little bit of those crease colors that I used and I applied just a little bit underneath the green to soften it and add a little bit of warmth. That's as far as I got before I realized camera is not rolling here, people. <laughs> so I think I want to add a little bit of darkness on this outer corner just a little bit. So I think I'm going to try using the blending E36 brush from Sigma. It is very, very tiny and very wispy. And I think I'm just going to go in with one of the darker shades. I think I might go in with this shade here, which is a little bit more of a kind of warm chocolate brown color. And I'm going to take a tiny, tiny bit of that, just the tiniest amount, and go on the outer corner of the eye. And just kind of lightly add this. Now, I'm not sure how much color this is going to add, this light kind of wispy brush, but I'm going to attempt to do this. Um, okay, so it's not really picking up anything. So let's go in with a pencil brush then with the same color. And I'm going to add it right onto this outer corner. Let's go with the darker one. It's right next to the green in this palette. And this is a very deep kind of espresso shade. And I'm going to just add that to this outer part. And I'm just kind of stamping it right on this outer part. Like a V shape. And then let's try going in with this one and blending that. So I think it might work for blending. And it just adds a little bit of smokiness that this, you know, just in a way for me, I felt like it needed something. So let's do the other eye. And I think what I want to do is add more of that sort of coppery color in the very inner corner because this one has more copper that's more visible. I'm, at least I'm picking it up in the mirror and I like the way it looks a little bit coppery then a little bit darker. So I'm gonna go back in with that um, copper shade, like a coppery bronze, and it looks like this. So I mix these two on the lid, but I'm gonna take a little bit more of this and I'm going to apply that to the inner part of the eye. So it's gonna create a bit more of a dimension love that. Looks so good. All right, so I'm going to go with the Outer V brush from Makeup Geek, and I'm going to use just one of the lighter shades in this palette since I'm already working with it for most of the look anyways. I'm just going to pick one of those to add to the brow bone and go on the highest point of the brow just lightly. And I am tapping off the excess because these are extremely pigmented. And then for the inner corner, I'm going to just choose one of those shades and I'm going to go in with the first one, which is just like a light kind of champagne color. And that's going to go into the inner corner. And if you wanted to, you could even use the same highlight that you use on your face. You could use that in the inner corner 
as well. So just something soft, light, and shimmery that would do the trick. Now we have to move on to eyeliner. I'm going to take the Charlotte Tilbury Legendary Eyeliner in Bedroom Black, and I'm going to use this in my waterline. I normally don't, but I feel like this look can use a little bit more depth around the eyes. So I feel like the best way to do that is to just apply a little bit of this and sort of create a bit of a smokiness and put something dark because you can see the green, but then you can also see on this eye here, you can see the kind of flesh tone of my waterline which makes the eyes look open and more awake, and you guys know I don't like to use a lot of black on the waterline, but I feel like for this look, I'm going all in. And I'm gonna use that on the upper waterline as well. And this is a bit of a drier formula. It's not as creamy as I thought it was going to be. So hopefully that means that it's going to stay on the waterline and not move because I've been using her mascara and really giving it a go. If you've watched my previous videos, you know, I was kind of like not impressed with it at first, but then I was like, oh my gosh, this makes my lashes look really good. The mascara itself, um, just kind of to give you an update, it is a very wet formula and when you have it on, it kind of smudges. I keep getting smudges on the inner corner and I keep thinking it's my eyeliner, but I really don't think it's my NARS liner because I use that NARS to tight line all the time and I've never had any issues with it. So I think, honestly, I think it's the mascara that is just, it stays a little bit kind of wet on your lashes after a few hours and I think that's what smudges. So I won't be using that mascara today. I'm going to use my tried and true, my love the Lash Paradise because this is the best stuff. <laughs> and if you haven't tried it, I suggest that you do. I would recommend it wholeheartedly. Best stuff ever. And I didn't even do any eyeliner today. I just am going with Lots of mascara. All right, so now that the eyes are done, I did go ahead and apply some bronzer. It's my chocolate soleil. It's nothing special. Um, I use it all the time. It's just a matte bronzer. It smells like chocolate. It makes me want to eat chocolate every time. I say that every time I use it because it's true. But for blush, I'm just going to keep it really simple and very natural and give myself a natural looking flush. So I'm going to go in with something very soft and also matte just because that's my preference in finish for blushes. This is the natural shade from the Physician's Formula Mineral Wear. Um, it's also talc free and I'm just going to add just a touch of that right onto the apples of my cheek to give me that pretty rosy natural glow that you get when you're outside and it's cold. For highlighter I'm going to use this one from Lorac. This is in the Starlight shade. I love this. This is still available in a holiday kit. It's such a pretty glow. I'm going to use the Taper Highlighting 941 brush from Delium Tools. And all you need to do is just kind of lightly tap into this product because it's very pigmented. And I'm just going to do a C shape on the tops of my cheekbone and bring it around my temples. And this brush is so perfect for that. It's the only brush that I use to highlight since they sent it to me. It's amazing and it's so incredibly soft. And take a little bit of the same highlighter down my nose and my cupid's bow. For lips, I'm going to take my Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. This is the reshape and resize lip sheet pencil. And I do have a little bit of lip balm, the Sarah Hap Lip Slip On. And I'm just going to quickly line my lips. And I can't talk while I do this. <laughs> And I'm also going to take some of that on to my lips as well. This is like the perfect lip liner. I do this combo all the time. This lip liner and this Sarah Hap lip slip and that's it. That is so easy. And then I'm going to take a little bit of the Julep Lip Mousse in the shade Ooh La La. 
and I have a little bit on the back of my hand as you can see it is um, a bit of a, on the darker side and I'm going to take my finger and just kind of lightly press that right over the lip liner and lip balm because I just want more of like a stain type of vibe and keeping it very light so that as it fades while hosting a party, dinner, Christmas, whatever it is that you're going to, um, it's going to fade nicely when it's just thin layers and kind of like a stain. And then I'm going to go back in with a little bit more of the Lorac highlight. I'm going to take it on my ring finger and just kind of go right over my cupid's bow one more time just to kind of give me a more pouty look and I just blended that out with my finger. I love this lip combo. It's so pretty. You don't have to do a full on lip as you can see beforehand with the lip liner with the lip balm is perfect and it's like my go to. It's my go to. So that completes the look. All right, so that completes the look. I hope that you enjoyed this holiday look. I hope that if you recreate it, it turns out really well for you, and I hope you enjoy wearing it as much as I'm going to enjoy wearing this. I love this look. Um, I love the bronzy tones. I've done looks similar to this in the past, and I've done similar looks, like one shadow looks with like bronzy kind of coppery tones, and it just adds something to the eyes where it just they look very sparkly, very capturing, and it's like intriguing and I like the, that look and I like that feel and it's very sexy I guess. <laughs> um, so I do love the bronze and that sort of coppery color giving the lids a bit of a two-tone kind of vibe to it and then adding that classic hunter kind of foresty green and the lower lash line for a pop of color something a little unexpected very easy to recreate like I said I hope that you recreate this and enjoy it as much as I do. Thank you so much for being here for today's video. I look forward to seeing you in my next one which is going to be my best in beauty for 2017. I'm so excited to film that. I'm actually going to do one of the first parts today, right after this video. So thank you so much for her being here. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this in the future. And you can also follow me on social media if you're interested. It's on the screen as always. And also in the description box with everything that I use for today's look. Have a fabulous week and holiday ahead. And I will see you soon. Bye-bye.